It's the Juice Bars at A, giving you a daily dose of your freshest squeeze. Welcome back, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. And most importantly, do not forget to share this video. So today, yes, you didn't read the title wrong. And it is not fake news. Sophie Ndaba was really, really involved in a car, a deadly car accident to be specific. <laughs> Wow, at least that's what other headlines says, okay? If you don't know who Sophie Ndaba is, you might know her as Sophie Lichaba or know her as a woman who played a character on the legendary Sophie called The, not The Queen, Generation, and her character name was Queen. Oh, yes, honey. Anyway, let's jump into the story. So, on Friday, Queen woke up in the morning feeling all glorious and good, thinking, hey, let me just go visit my family in Belgium in the Free State. And she drove there only to collide, not only to collide. Unfortunately, she collided into a Bucky, an Isuzu Bucky. She was driving her convertible silver Mustang sports car, darling. And apparently, allegedly, just to support this, just to say that this is actually true, a spokesman from a spokesperson, no, a spokesman um, called, his name is Michaela, from the police. Uh, he said that a case of recklessness and negligent driving is being investigated. We don't know whose fault is it. We don't know if it is um, Sophie's fault or the, you know, the van, the bucky driver's fault. But all we know that it happened, again, just to prove that it happened, Sophie took this particular picture that you see on the screen. She put it on her, on her Instagram and she captioned it this way she said today we celebrate two year anniversary of our marriage god is amazing the devil tried everything today i'm alive i am thanking the i'm thanking you lord that we have survived it all through your mercy even the continuous attacks on our marriage because the human devils just won't stop and will don't give up that's what she said Anyway, we don't know, like I said, who is fault at this particular thing. And I get what when she says that her marriage has been tried or her life has been attacked. Because number one, just a few months ago or a few weeks ago, she was reported dead. Imagine being alive and waking up to headlines saying that you are dead. How would you feel? Another one was about a few months ago. They said that she is dying of HIV Whereas she was actually, you know, diagnosed with diabetes and that's why she was losing her weight. Anyway, tell me what you think about those false allegations about her in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.